Car prices have been falling since the summer of this year, with cars becoming more and more affordable month by month. But what does the most recent data show, and are market conditions still shifting to make this market more and more of a buyer's market? So let's look at the data and let's find out. As of today, we have the most recent data through October of this year, so it is pretty up to date, and things look really promising. Wholesale used vehicle prices fell 2.2% from September to October, and the Mannheim Used Vehicle Value Index is down 10.6% from a year ago. Mannheim Market Report, or MMR value, saw a 2.2% decline month over month, specifically in the three-year-old index. And for those of you who don't know what MMR or Mannheim Market Report values are and why they're important, the reason why they matter is because it basically takes all of the average transaction prices of wholesale vehicles over the last 13 months. So it gives us a really good gauge of where wholesale prices are currently in relation to where they've been in the past. And the reason why wholesale vehicle prices matter is because the wholesale vehicle prices oftentimes dictate what we will pay on a consumer level, because what the dealership pays will obviously impact what we have to pay. Basically, the lower the dealership pays, the better. So MMR is a really great way to see where prices are trending, and it's a really great way to get a gauge on how much you could expect to pay whenever you go to buy your car, whether that be from a dealership or a reseller. And whenever it comes to MMR values in the three-year-old index, this is the wholesale price of vehicles that are three years old. So newer used cars. We also saw buyers with more bargaining power this October than last October. In fact, buyers saw more bargaining power this year than this time in 2019. And this is measured by daily sales conversion rate. And for this October 2022, the daily sales conversion rate was 51.8%, while in October of 2022, it was 49.3%. The higher the percentage, the more bargaining power that the buyer has. Year-over-year -year vehicle segments are down, but month-over-month -month segments, only six out of eight were down. Full-size cars unfortunately saw an increase of 4.5% month-over-month while vans were flat. All of their segments were down. So if you're somebody who's looking for a used luxury car, sports car, or compact car, you could be in a good spot. Used retail sales were down 13% year over year, which makes sense because as we know in recent weeks, we've seen companies like CarMax and Carvana post massive losses, in large part driven by this shift in the used market. So this is no surprise, but it's still a great sign. If we compare used vehicle retail sales today to pre-pandemic 2019, sales are down 32%, which is massive. And if we look at the Car Guru's Used Vehicle Value Index, we'll see very similar data presented there. As you can see from car gurus, most makes and models are down, not only over the last 30 days, but most are even down over the last 60 days, and some are down year to date. And to be honest, it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that we were seeing green numbers across the board for car gurus car value index. A lot can change in six months. The leader of the pack for price declines is Tesla, with a decline of 5.5% in the last 30 days, while other brands like Dodge, Fiat, Hyundai, Mazda, and many others are down in the 2% range. But for the most part, you can see that the majority of car manufacturers are seeing price declines month over month, which is great news. But let's take a look at sales volume. You can see that as far as car sales volume goes, most brands are down year over year, with the exception of Mercedes, Chrysler, Genesis, and Tesla, with Tesla being far ahead of nearly every other car manufacturer. If we head over to segment sales, this is where things are really interesting, because electric vehicles year over year are leading the pack as far as sales go. And electric vehicles are way ahead of every other segment out there but that is a little misleading. Because I would argue that the availability of electric cars has increased substantially over the last year, which is why we've seen such an increase in sales volume year over year. This year alone, not only do we have electric vehicle supply chain issues in a much better position compared to a year ago, but the selection of vehicles is much broader as well, from Kias to Hyundais, Mercedes, Tesla, Rivian, Lucid, and more. For years, if you wanted an electric vehicle, you had to choose a Tesla, but this is just no longer the case. And nowadays, if you want an electric car, you have dozens of different options to choose from, many of which have just become available within the last year or so. And this is no doubt affecting the sales volume in the electric vehicle segment, especially if you compare that same volume to this time last year. 
New vehicle supply is slowly but surely improving. It's still not anywhere near what we were at in 2019 or 2020, but it is much better than in 2021. Kia, Toyota, and Honda are at the bottom three vehicle manufacturers with the lowest supply, which makes sense because Toyota recently cut production outlook and saw a 25% decline in profit. New vehicle transaction prices are still seeing all-time highs, and many experts believe that this figure isn't going to go down anytime soon, which does make sense, because though the days of paying above MSRP for a new car are limited, if not over entirely, prices for new cars in general are still very high. And this isn't going to change for a number of different factors, including the variety of cars that are available, dealership inventory, as well as a change in the dealership and manufacturer model, which are all things I've discussed in previous videos. And to be honest, I don't predict that new vehicle prices are going to go down anytime soon because of the factors that I just outlined. And if they do end up coming down, then it will be because of things like an increase in supply, dealer incentives coming back, and new cheaper cars being introduced, which I don't think is likely in the short term. But again, an economic shift like a recession could accelerate these things, but only time will tell. All in all, this is great news, and this is a sign that we are heading in the right direction. Sure, we aren't seeing massive decreases month over month. We're not seeing massive increases in inventory on the car manufacturer side, but we are seeing prices decline 2 to 3% every single month, which is right on schedule. In the last market video that I made, I talked about how I predict that the car market will continue to go down incrementally by 2 to 3% per month for the foreseeable future. But as the economy shifts and as the economy gets worse, these month-by-month -month changes will become larger. And this larger month-by-month -month shift will be caused by a handful of different factors, including rising interest rates, a declining economy, job loss, vehicle manufacturer supply increases, loan delinquencies, vehicle repossessions, and more. All of these factors impact the used and new car market, and as we progress into 2023, I believe that these factors will have a heavier and heavier impact, and it will cause people to really reevaluate their vehicle situation, and people may decide to either wait and hold off on that newer used vehicle purchase, they may decide to sell the vehicle that they recently bought, they might find themselves underwater on their car, putting them into a delinquency and at risk of a repossession. And at the same time, vehicle supplies is starting to sort itself out, which will absolutely have an impact on vehicle prices across the country. Another thing that we have to mention is the fact that we are entering the end of the year. And though I do stand by my previous comments that right now isn't the best time to buy a used car, it's certainly becoming a better time, but it still isn't the best time, we have to acknowledge the fact that the end of the year is traditionally a really great time to buy used and new vehicles. Because come December, we not only have the holidays, but we have the end of month, end of quarter, and end of year numbers that salesmen and dealerships are trying to reach. And because of that, they are historically more willing to negotiate. And given the fact that we are seeing buyers with more and more negotiating power, it could be a great time to buy. Again, if you can wait for that used vehicle purchase, I definitely encourage you to do so because I do think prices will continue to get better. But if you are somebody who needs a car sooner than later, then at the end of December could be a great time in order to do that. But like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope it gave you some valuable insight into the used and new car market and where things are currently trending. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video.